In this video, I will be describing my childhood home and I'll be showing you guys a visual walkthrough of where I was raised and talking about some of my experiences while I lived there. Oh, and yeah, that little cutie right there with the glasses on, that's me. Now this picture is from my childhood. In this picture, I believe I was about nine or 10. Um, and I'm going to tell you everybody who's in this picture. So the boy with the yellow FUBU jersey on was one of my best friends, neighbors, a.k.a. one of my first boyfriends. He was one of my really cool friends. Um, we were friends probably until we got like around 13 and he, him and his family moved. We lost contact. But every now and again, I would see him and it was the same energy. Like he was just a cool dude. This girl here, she passed away at 23. That's one of my older cousins. Um, she had a rare bone cancer that took her out very early, but she was one of my favorite cousins. The little one right here with the orange shirt is also one of my little cousins. And that one right there next to her is her sister. And she's one of my older cousins. She's not really my cousin like by blood, but more so by like her mom being with my uncle and producing her. Um, that's my little sister right there. As I always say, me and her are two years apart. So if I was like nine or 10, she was about seven or eight. And that guy right there with the dark jean jacket on, he's another one of my little cousins. Um, he is around. So him, my little sister and her with the orange on are all the same age. They were all born in 1992, but they're all a few months apart. So like one was born in September, which was him. She was born in November and my little sister was born in December. So like our moms were all pregnant together. Now he is the one with the, the jean jacket on is her brother right here. The one that passed away at 23. That was just a quick backstory. But now let's walk through my home where I grew up at for 10 years of my childhood and just talk about it. This was my childhood home, 2766 Pelham Avenue in Baltimore, Maryland. I lived there for about 10 years. Um, my mom, actually, my mom and dad separated while I was living there. So I experienced a lot of trauma when it came to them fighting. Um, arguing, and I'm talking about like physically fighting in front of me and my siblings. Um, me and my siblings were pent against against each other in this home. Um, this is the home where my older sister uh, got possessed. Uh, not the home that I'm looking at. I'm just looking all over. But I'm saying like the home I grew up in. She was old. My older sister got possessed in that home. Um, the home was haunted. We dealt with a lot of spirits and a lot of stuff like that. Um, all those kids that I showed you in that picture before. Um, would come over all the time. The parents would get together and go out and leave us alone. And we would be in the home just doing what kids do. Um, and like scary stuff would take place. Like a lot of haunted things took place in that house. My mother and sister, older sister, would always wake up at three o'clock in the morning with scratches and bruises on them. Um, it was just a lot of dark things. But the funny thing about it is that none of those dark things ever bothered me or messed with me. But I just felt like I need to share my story because I was raised by two narcissistic parents in a toxic family. And my parents pinned everyone in my family against me. And although I only tried to help all of them, they all spread dirt on my name and lies and lied on me about everything. And I'm just here to expose, you know, them and to tell the truth, to put the truth out there because the truth must be put out there like they only know one side of the story and even though you know people who they talk to know me and know my character they still listen to them and believe the things that they say so I just feel it necessary to expose them with the receipts and proof that I have for the narcissistic and toxic things they have done to me and my upbringing and my siblings causing us to be separated so if you like my content and want to follow along please follow like comment and share thank you for watching Stay tuned for more new posts every day.